Mirror, mirror on the wall. Why do I look into you at all? For all I see is the same old me and not how I so want to be. When I look in the mirror, I see me. I see blue eyes, blonde hair, chubby cheeks, um, <laughs> big eyebrows. We're accused of being this selfie generation and being vain. But when we reflect on how we look, do we actually like what we see? We asked young people to meet themselves as if for the first time and tell us what they thought about the person they saw in the mirror. First impressions. Bimbo, probably. Aww. Bimbo, <laughs> or... Yeah, she tries hard with her makeup. I don't know, she's a bit try hard. Tired. <laughs> Needs a haircut. Her chin could be less spotty. Quite a nice sort of facial structure. Um, his nose is a bit knackered though. Uh, excuse me, we're on the nice ones. <laughs> on the nice ones, oh sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Yeah, I think I like the hair, the eyes are Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I like the fact that there is a lot of makeup. It looks like a pretty average sort of guy, yeah? Nothing too spectacular, nothing too crazy. Our brains are supercharged face recognising machines. One study showed that we only need 30 milliseconds of exposure to someone's face to form a lasting first impression of them. But would you trust your own face? If you lent this person £100, would you trust them to give you the hundred pounds back? Oh God. <laughs> yes. Just looking at him, I would, I think he'd have a decent shout of paying it back. Would have to pay me back with interest. And would you lend anyone a hundred pounds? No. We can't separate our judgments of people's abilities from how they look. Attractive people get paid 4% more than their unattractive counterparts. And even juries are more likely to convict a person with a more naturally negative expression and less likely to convict someone with a baby face. And of course there's a reason that juries aren't allowed to know the accused. It's impossible to detach yourself from things you already know about someone when trying to pass an unbiased judgement. What are your first impressions of this person? Self-doubt. Um, borderline anxiety. <laughs> like, worrying too much and trying too much. Like, the tiredness. I would say that I would dislike that they're getting stuck on non-important things. I would not have said you look tired. Maybe no. I feel it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I have to look at this person as if it's not me, it, the thoughts that I had this morning or yesterday would still reflect and would still dominate. It's, it's hard to detach, even though it's like reflection onto like a stranger. No matter how hard we try, we can never see a true reflection of ourselves. There's simply too much baggage. Vanity is far from our minds when we really look. But hey, life's too short for self-reflection. <laughs>